Right, so good afternoon, bon après-midi, buenas tardes, boa tarde. Thank you all for joining us from all over the Americas. Very special place dear to my heart. We are going to Morgan Rock and we have two lovely ladies, uh, Andrea Prado, the resident manager. And Andrea, I'm going to leave you the pleasure to uh, invite, uh, to present uh, the latest addition to the Morgan Rock team. Of course. Well, thank you everyone once again for joining us. It's always a pleasure to have you all here and to make sure that you get to know more, a little bit more of our property. So it's my pleasure to introduce our newest addition to the team. Uh -huh. She's Maria Jose. She's our new sales advisor. She's gonna be with us during um, taking good care of your requests uh, during the following months and I hope years. So I'm gonna let her just say hi to you. So you recognize her voice and her face over the emails. Uh, okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Oh, you have a little bit of echo. <laughs> Hola, Maria well, Jose. My name is Maria Jose, a reservation advisor. If, well, it's my first time here in the webinar. So I'm really excited. <laughs> okay, but well, thank you so much. We're happy to have you. I know you're going to be the main contact also for our appointment platform, Let's Connect 365, and that everyone can take 15 minutes appointment to discuss the reservation or pick your brain or anything. So we are looking forward to working with you and welcome to the Morgan Rock team. So Andrea, would you, are you the one starting the presentation? Huh? No. Are you gonna so take I am indeed. Beautiful property. I just want to make sure everyone can see my screen. Yes, yes no? Yeah, yeah, everything is good. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you everyone once again on this quick trip. We are in Central America and Nicaragua. And for the ones that have been asking us uh, about restrictions, requirements, where is the best airport to fly it into? So as you can see in the map, we have two options right now. Your clients can fly either to Managua or they can fly it into Liberia Airport in Costa Rica. Both airports are the same distance from the property that it will be two hours and a half. They just have to take into consideration the border crossing time that has, it can be 25 minutes, it can be an extra hour. Uh, I crossed the border like, like 10 days, 15 days ago, and it took me less than 35 minutes to do both sides, which was amazing. Um, However, we know that during like the busy time of the year, like right now, it can take a little bit longer. We handle transfers from both airports. So at the end, whatever works for your clients works for us. Morgan's Rock is a 4,000 acres property from the 1,800 is a private protected reserve. Um, I will say one of the most magical things about this property uh, more than the land that it's so big is that we can blend with a different type of species. So has the, has the three, three different types of monkeys, uh, sloth, but also we have the half mile on private beach. So we have both for your clients, the beach and the jungle. And even though, and Dominique won't make me lie, we are on the Pacific side. How is the color of the sand, Dominique? Oh, the sun is white. <laughs> <laughs> no. or you can tell even behind you, behind you with your picture you, everybody can see it so it's really <laughs> nice really nice and so I, yeah I, I like the privacy also you feel no one can come there is no really no boats coming this way uh, you own the whole thing and it's so rare to have such a beach such a long beach huh? indeed um uh, the beach is stunning and even though we are next to maderas which is a surfer's beach calm amazing for boogie boarding, for children, pretty safe, I will say. Um, and the sand is white. <laughs> so there, there are some other pictures, as you can see, of the property itself, secluded, immersed into nature, which is, I think, we're all looking for right now, especially after lockdowns and, and everything. Even though we're a big land, we only have 15 rooms. We have also have our own organic farming. So we provide a farm to table, ocean to table experience. 
Uh, and it's hilarious to me because every time I have to travel, I have to do things. And I always complain about the food because I'm so used to have this organic and fresh culinary experience every day that you can definitely um, feel the difference. Um, and this is very important to us because it reduces the waste. It, it allows us to have a really efficient um, production and, and to satisfy our clients' needs. Mm -hmm. Can I say something, Andrea, yes. on the vegetable? Because it's really more than just organic. Uh, because a lot of people are doing organic and everything. But what's curious about you is really, you don't know really what you're going to have in your plates because the, <laughs> the same day, the chef will only pick for your lunch what's ready. So this for me was unusual. A few days before, you can never know what this will be. This will be the menu because it will depend on how ripe it is. And very unusual and, and they end up tasting different. I start to like radish at Morgan Rock. Never liked radish before, but you know what? Your radish tasted differently. Definitely, and, and it's hilarious also to see the captain almost every other day in the morning that he brings in a bucket, the, the lobster or whatever he gets. And he's like showing around, hey, we're gonna have this for in the menu. And, and, and it's amazing just to make sure it is really a, a organic and, and fresh culinary experience while we offer. Then the whole adventure and everything begins where we have to cross our 110 meters long hanging bridge to get to a bungalow or villa. And probably the million dollar question, what about if we're scared of heights? What about if I don't wanna cross the hanging bridge? Well, we do have three units before the hanging bridge, one villa and two bungalows. And we also have a back row and a golf cart available for those who still want to enjoy the Morgan's Rock experience, but they don't want to cross the hanging bridge. And as I said before, we have a total of 18 rooms, 15 bungalows up on a cliff overlooking at the ocean, and three two-bedroom villas with private pool. And the two-bedroom villas look like this. They are all certified wood, screens, and fabric. Actually, Dominique is standing there right now with the pool in, the, in her bag. <laughs> It's one of the favorite ones. Uh, clients love the villas. I think it's a great feed for families, two couples traveling together because they have their own privacy and space, but they also have this common area where they can share. And all the bungalows are exactly the same concept and the same design. Each room has a king and a twin, so we can have a maximum capacity of six people. They all have their own outdoor shower and a private terrace. And one of the coolest features that I love the most about our rooms, it's the evening breeze. So if we see the picture where you, we can see the whole bed, there's like a white thing right here, like a canopy tent. So that's the evening breeze. This is an eco-friendly air conditioning system. It strikes air from outside and it transforms it into cold air towards the bed. So basically right now, when we have almost, I'll say, we are pretty close to the 90 degrees or so during our summertime. It can be really, really hot. You can notice our cheeks are, are kind of a little bit red and it's because it's hot today. However, with the evening breeze, you can still enjoy a full sunny day and you can have a really nice temperature while you are in the bed. Then we have the 15 bungalows. They're all exactly the same concept, the same design. Main difference will be some of them have private pools and some others have forest views, but basically it's all certified wood, screens and fabric. As you can see, all the king size bed have the evening breeze. Um, each bungalow has a king. However, that sofa that we can see right there, it can be turned into a queen size sofa bed. So we can easily have a couple with small children in one bungalow. They all have a terrace with a hanging bed, easy access to the beach, um, and amazing and stunning views, as you can see in the pictures. Main difference will be, as I said before, some of them have forest view, as we can see in the picture. Some of them have their own private pools. Some others, they just have stunning views. 
We are a family friendly property. I will say we love children. As you can see in the picture, we don't have minimum age. From the little ones to the big ones in the family are more than welcome. And uh, <laughs> when I see the kid with those eggs, I just can't stop thinking about, Dominique has this story or like anecdote that I would love her <laughs> just to one more time oh, share I, it oh, with I, our lovely, ever lovely people today. All right. So when I went to visit the farm, which is one of the excursion, and you go with your Jeep, so you feel like on a safari, and you see monkeys on both sides, you arrive at the farm, and before your breakfast, they ask you to get your own eggs. So I get very proud of me, got my eggs are warm and in my hand, and one of the staff members said, give me your eggs. I thought she's going to, or he's going to take my eggs to go and make my omelets. No, <laughs> he threw the eggs in the on the toward the roof and I'm like what is it <laughs> why is he throwing the e my eggs in the air and suddenly I saw like 100 chicken coming to my legs I still don't understand what happened and uh, basically they were waiting for the eggs to fall and if the eggs will break they will eat they will eat the eggs and then my eggs didn't break and they just went their own way but I'm telling you, there is no age group that would not be mesmerized or wondering what had just happened to them. So I'm sure the little boy on the picture was also not understanding what happened. Definitely. Uh, this is one of the, the, the memorable things clients can enjoy while they are on property. One of the iconic activities, it is the breakfast at the farm. And I'll, I have seen from the babies, from little toddlers, to the grand grandparents enjoying this activity uh, that also make you connect as a family and with nature. We also offer horseback riding. They can go fishing, biking, paddle boarding, monkey and sloth quest. For those who wanna keep their agenda super busy, we can do that for sure. But also uh, we have upside activities. And right now we are experiencing this um, this type of clientele that they are staying at Morgan's Rock, but they wanna see a little bit more of Nicaragua. So we do have offsite activities such as zip lining, surfing. You can visit Granada, which is the picture with the yellow church. It's a colonial city, pretty similar to Antigua. And also you can go all the way up to the, the Masaya volcano where you can see the crater and the lava is the one that we see in the picture right there. You can get a little bit more of the cultural part of Nicaragua. But we totally understand there are also some clients that they wanna play by ear, they wanna take it easy. So we have the biggest yoga platform in Nicaragua. We offer complimentary yoga sessions for those who wanna disconnect to reconnect. And I think to have a full wellness experience, you have to pair it with an aromatherapy or a deep tissue at our spa at the beach. Also great for couples, they can do a couple's massage and definitely relax while they enjoy the ocean sound, the birds, the monkeys. We are super committed with the community. I'll say one of the things that I admire the most about the Ponzon's family, which are the owners, um, is how are they are committed with the staff and with the area that we are located. So at the very beginning, Morgan Stroke was a cattle farm. It was basically nothing here. They start as a reforestation project. Right now we have planted over 2 million trees mm -hmm. and everything you see made of wood is from trees that they were grown on property. So one of the biggest needs in the communities uh, in local schools, in public schools, having furniture. It will sound insane and crazy and super sad, but there are some schools in the area that the children have to bring their own chair into the school. So we have donated some chairs, some tables, so the children, which are the, uh, the sons and daughters of our staff, can have a decent place and they can learn even more. Also, water, it's another big need in the area. Water is good for irrigation, to do your daily chores. However, it's not potable. So we have donated together some eco filters so the children and their parents can bring their own containers and bring home potable water. Um, and, I could, and I could mention like a lot of things that we have been doing 
And I will say, even though we provide experiences that will probably last a, life, a lifetime, we also have been changing a lot um, the lives of the people in, in our area um, from the staff, from the different um, people that live close by that they now have better roads and everything. And we truly believe in the transformation of people. Uh, so we are super grateful to still being able to operate, to still be able to provide um, jobs uh, to, to, to all our staff. And we are again, really thankful for your clients, for your business and and it to me super emotional because to have a really nice occupancy rates as we have right now uh when we had such uh sad times that we were almost like um we had to we had to uh put together our program during covid then we didn't have any clients so together uh, with the travel agents with the owners and with the clients we were able to provide a package of food for six months to 103 families. And I will say, we truly believe once again in the power of sharing. And we always had at least a family, a, a couple, and now to see these occupancy percentages are just amazing. So I wanted to share that with you because I think it's always good to give good news. Um, and that's it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Andrea. I guess I get a little emotional when uh, you finish with your how much Morgan will give back to the community. And I'm so happy you have at 80% occupancy. It's a blessing and uh, you deserve it. And uh, so let's all of us uh, continue our own, <laughs> what we do, more webinar, more business for, uh, for Morgan Rock, more clients. And I think yeah, that's a beautiful way for the clients to, to give back themselves to the community. Huh? So. Definitely. I don't know if there is any questions or Andrea would, uh, is there anything else you want to add? No? You well, want just, just a little thing right now to enter to Nicaragua, you just need a, a PCR negative test 72 hours prior. I think that's very important always to mention. Mm -hmm. um, and besides that, we are open and, and eager to take good care of all your clients. Perfect. All right. And if anybody is going to uh, sometime and you have client, travel advisor flying to Costa Rica and they want to just also go to Nicaragua or you just go to Nicaragua itself, but don't forget to ask us, uh, Andrea and Maria Jose, they're always very generous, I think. Uh, and um, and that's a great way to discover it by yourself. I was saying that at the beginning, uh, everyone who came on Fam Trip, everyone who came to visit could not believe it. They could not believe it. Uh, Andrea, you agree with me? You got the feedback? Huh? Totally. And then we see like business returns right away. If, uh -huh. uh, if a travel advisor comes and stay and they experience that firsthand, we, we get other clients like just a few months later. And I think we have a question right there, Dominique. Uh -huh. Yeah, about the, the cost and the minimum sale from uh, G. Stania. Okay, so Wait. minimum stay. I will say we don't have right now for festive we we recommend at least a minimum of two nights because one night it will be kind of a waste because you don't get to have the whole experience uh but we don't have a minimum stay right now uh then i'll say like starting rate for two people it goes around on a bungalow like an ocean view regular bungalow with daily breakfast it will go around 465 per night then we have the Bellas with daily breakfast for four people, like around 950 per night. That will be the green season rate that starts on May 1st. Uh, but I'll be more than happy to send you more information. Um, yeah, together with the recording, maybe yeah, you can send a new uh, guest uh, the price yeah. list and everything. Huh? Uh, Anne, you want to know how far is uh, from north of Costa Rica by car or by plane? Well, it will really depend exactly from where. Do we pick them up? Sadly, right now, we cannot operate charters. In the past, we used to be able to do it. We have our own uh, airstrip. Mm -hmm. uh, because of COVID restrictions right now, it's it's kind of complicated. We really hope in the future, knock on wood, uh, we will be able to charter from almost everywhere. Mm -hmm. But from Liberia, we are two hours and a half uh, car transfer. Esmeralda is still uh, closed for the moment, huh? no, but I think because 
everywhere in the world, it looks like everyone is a little more relaxed on policies and everything. So who knows? Huh? Maybe in one month's time, things will change. Huh? Because you, know, you have your own airstrip as well. So your own plane, your own airstrip. And then I know that there is a air shuttle from uh, Liberia to Costa Esmeralda, which is like, what, 30 minutes? So that was yes. also something very practical. Huh? It was super yeah. practical and convenient. And fingers crossed, uh, they reopen pretty soon because it will be it will be great yeah so Anne, if you're still in uh, costa rica <laughs> it's time to go and uh, visit uh, a morgan rock or when you when you go back huh? when you come back to the country all right so i do not see any other questions or anything so we're gonna say goodbye to everyone and uh, thank you again maria jose uh, we're happy uh, again to have you in the team and i uh, look forward to be working with you closely thank you andrea thank you everybody and have a good rest of the day. Huh? Thank bye you bye. all. Have a great week. Thank you. Bye. bye.